Okay, right. This little snippet is going to be about training these these muscles in your arm because you're going to find that with double sword, um, or double handed sword, um, you've got all the strength uh, in, in both arms, obviously, and you've got that pivot there which really rolls back um, that strength into your shoulders. You rely a lot less on your wrists, a hell of a lot less, and it's going to be a shock when you when you move to using one handed and let alone um, using your left hand as well as your right. There's no way to, no other way to put it. Um, this is probably going to be the time when you're going to injure yourself. You're going to pull a muscle or drop a sword, so therefore you've got to build it up slowly. Um, you can't just sort of start going mental because you'll, you'll pull a muscle. Um, <laughs> if you do hurt yourself, support bandages are your friend. Um, I really messed up once uh, years ago now um, and a friend took me to the chemist and, and got me one of these and they don't fix it but they do help and if you feel like you're pulling um, you know you're pulling your muscles in a way that they're not happy with there's one or two things you can do about that the sensible thing would be to slow down um, you know just flick the sword less uh, do it slower whatever the other thing is get one of these and preemptively wear it um, not like me or do both but you've got to listen to your body when you do this now the exercise in question isn't the most interesting exercise but it's you know you're you're trying to get your your body used to the fact that you're not you haven't got that second bit stopping the sword like that which is incredibly useful um, what you want is for your body to be okay with, with using just just one arm and it takes a little while to do that your muscles as I've mentioned in the wrist because there aren't any muscles in your hands they're all connected up here are slow tick, slow tick muscles which basically means that they respond really well to heavier weights but less repetitions it doesn't really carry over so much to this sort of practice but you should bear that in mind as well when you feel like your wrists are actually getting tired put, put the sword down because otherwise you're going to end up dropping it or injuring yourself, okay? Now, the strikes we're going to be doing, and they are dull, but they're necessary. I'm going to start with my right hand. You raise Sukra up like this, you bring the sword forward and you snap it, and you stop it hopefully around this way. It doesn't matter so much, really, but wherever you're going to go for, you just, that's what you do, just like this and you'll feel it pulling here and that, that that's a good thing it's just repetition like this getting your body used to that and also correct grip don't do this make sure make every strike count because you know it's dull you may as well get something out of it so just flip that sword forward suka like this it doesn't matter if you bring it all the way back i tend not to but, and then you just flick forward. If you can get a nice little swoosh sound whilst you're doing it, that's nice. And then when you start to feel that burn, swap to your left hand. Same thing. Let's see, I'm nowhere near as proficient with my left. And that's it. Um, and repeat this as needs be. Now, one thing you do have to, I'll mention it again, when you're cutting, make sure that you're supporting the cut here with your arm over the top of the suka, because otherwise what will happen, if your fingers decide to give way, it will just twist it out of your hand like that. And, you know, you damage yourself, there'll be blood all over the place, not very much fun. Um, Mix this up with your normal double-handed training to alleviate the boredom, but go back and just, again, because you're going to need these muscles to work, and right now you have been relying on the fact that you've got push-pull here, and at some point 
the sword wants to stop anyway. So that's basically that. Get cracking on that, and then you know we can start looking at, at dual sword training, which is a whole new level of fun and dangerous, all in the same thing.